Hey, what's going on, my Bajo? It's Guns Blazing back at it again. This time, I'll bring you a level 40 Bonds farming deck. And he's not hes not particularly the hardest to farm, but I always got to try to come through with something consistent, cheap, and effective. And so, Restart here allows me to have a little more consistency in this red-ass farming deck. I did start off with the two spirits, but I managed to uh, shuffle them back and draw a completely new hand, and it's a much better one. Get to pop that Insight now and pick up my red eye spirit. And the game plan is basically just, you know, get a couple red eyes black dragons on the board. I pop this red eye spirit as soon as his turn hits because uh, what this does is actually scares him from summoning Gazookis in attack mode. And that eliminates a lot of problems with him milling out cards and also pumping up his skull servants. And so at this point, the farm is pretty much set because I have my second insight. And so if he tries to destroy my Red Eyes B-Dragon with his Tribute to the Doomed, then I just go ahead and revive it. So I go ahead and set that Spirit. Pop cards of the Redstone. I have three in this uh, in this duel, but uh, honestly you only need like two. I replace the other one with another Gravedigger's Ghoul. And the purpose of that card is basically so that if he, if he gets too many Skull Servants in his in his graveyard, you uh, you ghoul them out, you banish them, so that he doesn't get his King of the Skull Servants pumped up to the point where he can take on your Red-Eyed Black Dragons. And so that's a card I'm talking about right here. This deck is a pretty cheap farming deck, no real, uh, no real expensive cards here. Or no, not too many copies of super rares from packs and we got birth right here this can easily be replaced with champions vigilance so the idea here is that you revive your red eyes if he tributes to the doomed on it but with vigilance you can just negate it in the first place uh, as you can see here uh, vigilance would have just negated this but it's okay because i can use birthright to revive it you want two red eyes on the field that's also why we have black dragon chick which i discarded a couple turns ago so that you have an alternate way of getting your Red-Eyes Black Dragon out. So the farm is pretty much set. I do have full combo here, but I'm going to wait one more turn so that I deck out. I mean, uh, I get that full cards on the brink bonus. Alright, so Piranha Army is the poor man's Gravekeeper's Vassal, and uh, Gift of the Martyr is a poor man's Union Attack. So basically they're interchangeable. If you have two Union Attacks and uh, Gravekeeper's Vassal, you can use that instead of Piranha Army and two Gift of the Martyrs, and you'll actually get 1,000 more points. But this version of the deck uh, does get me 8,000, but I do get 500 points from Glossy, and that's why I'm able to achieve it. If you do have the Double Union and Gravekeeper's Vassal again, you should be using that to guarantee 8,000. There is a 1,000 point bonus going on right now, so that does help out a bit. It's pretty much guaranteed 7,000. So let's just quickly go through these cards uh, for those that couldn't see it in the deck picture. So Red Eye Zombie, that's not really too needed. But it is an extra card for your cards of the Red Stone. And as I said, you can replace Birthright with uh, Champion's Vigilance. And you can replace this with Red Eyes uh, Metal Dragon. Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon. Alright, so I showed you the Red Eyes version. Uh, it is more consistent than this next deck, which is the Blue Eyes version. But Blue Eyes also works okay. Red Eyes is faster, it's more consistent. But Blue Eyes should do the trick. It's pretty much a uh, similar concept. Run and restart because we want that consistency. And that's perfect because we got Kid Moto and Blue Eyes on uh, in our opening hand. And the reason I like using Red Eyes and Blue Eyes over stuff like Labyrinth Builder is that you don't have to unlock a certain character to get it, so it's accessible for a lot of duelists. And uh, Restart isn't totally needed, but it does make it a lot more consistent. And here's a good thing about Kid Moto: you bait out his tribute to the Doom, so you don't have to worry about that for the rest of the duel. And at the same time, you get to summon your uh, Blue Eyes White Dragoon. Juicy animation, that's 60 FPS. You get watching the whole thing. And once again, you don't have to attack into these face downs. Uh, there's no point 
Uh, it'll just waste your time because you're pretty much getting 8,000 guaranteed. Uh, if you're running the Vassal Double Union version, I do get 8,000 with uh, this Piranha version, but I have a lot of glossy points, so that's uh, that's why. And there's also a 1,000 dual bonus that's going on as of right now. I don't know if that's going to be going on the whole event. So if you if you have a Vassal Double Union attack, again, you should be running that over Double Gift of the Martyr and uh, Piranha Army. And so uh, Grave Digger Ghoul is in this in this dual replay, although it's not on the deck list on the right, uh, because I decided that it's not really that important if he's not summoning his Gazookis and milling out every turn. And we also have Pot of Benevolence uh, to take care of the Skull Servants that he does put into his graveyard. And I'm just going to pop that right now. Uh, it shuffles in the Skull Servant back so that his King of the Skull Servants can't get over a Blue Eyes White Dragoon. And at this point, it's pretty much set. It's just a waiting game. Uh, Champion's Vigilance is here too to take care of the Tribute to the Doomed. Although we do have three Blue Eyes and three Kidmotos, so it's not really that bad. And a Birthright as well to revive him in case he does uh, get sent to the grave. And as you can see, Red Eyes is faster because it has Red Eyes Insight and cards of the Red Stone. Uh, the Blue Eyes deck doesn't have that much draw mechanics. Go ahead and pop that Pot of Bene one more time for the boy. And again, I will be showing uh, the card names one by one after this dual replay for those of you that can't see the names of the deck list on the right. And oh, one last thing is that the reason I'm not setting more than one card is first of all because I don't need to, and second of all, uh, it's gonna get pinned by Xing Zhenhu. So whatever farming deck you use, uh, if you're running back row, make sure that there's only one back row set at any given time, because he's gonna pop your Xing Zhenhu and pin both of them down. And as you can see here, again we're using Piranha Army Double Gift. I only show that in my replays. I mean my uh, farming videos because it's the most accessible. Not everyone has two unit attacks, but uh, I'm going to say it again, I already said it multiple times, but if you have Gravekeeper's Vassal, two unions, go ahead and replace your Piranha Army and the two Gifted the Martyrs. They're interchangeable, and let me show you that deck list. Alright, so here you go, Kaiba Man can be replaced with Ancient Rules, Blue Dragon Summoner, uh, that's what I took out Gravedigger's Ghoul for. But if you find that you need Gravedigger's Ghoul, you can sub him right back in. The Blue Dragon Summoner is a consistency mechanic. And that's pretty much it. Actually, let me just show you one more deck list here. This one's Run Labyrinth Builder, which is a Paradox Bros drop skill. I'm not going to be showing a dual replay of this one. Uh, if you want to see it in action, you can check out the Dual Partners video. And basically I'm running budget options here, but uh, what he has in the deck is actually three Shard of Greeds and one Fiend Mega Cyber. And the idea behind this deck is that you just Labyrinth Builder out on turn one, and that's always available, so it's very consistent. The only problem is he will summon his Gazookis, so you do have to run Shard of Greed and Pot of Benevolence in order to uh, counteract the fact that he mills himself out faster than you draw cards. And then you got Burst Rebirth and Puzzle Reborn. Uh, once he plays his Tribute to the Doom, play this right away so that you can revive your wall right after it's destroyed. Yes, we are running five ways to resummon our Labyrinth because we do want to ensure that that boy comes back to the field. Actually, if you want to be a big baller like Big Baller Brand, then you should be running Soul Resurrection because he's not tied down to uh, when it's destroyed. You can even pop it after the turn after it gets destroyed. One last thing you gotta know about Shield and Sword though is that you gotta play in the right order so it's uh, your Labyrinth Wall will be on the field so you Shield and Sword that while it's alone and then you can play your Fiend Mega Cyber Special Summoned and then you can uh, Normal Summon your Gravekeeper's Vassal, go for the Double Union Secret Pass and that should be an easy 8,000 points. And yeah that's it from me my Bajos, have yourselves a good one, happy farming and this is your boy Guns Blazing signing out. Spoken
To the fiery light 